Okay, I'm setting up some stuff. You guys might be able to see me now. Happy New Year to all of you guys out there. I know the UK and Europe, all those guys over there across the, uh, the little pond are uh, celebrating right now. Got about six hours to go here until we are in uh, 2012. So I'm actually going in downtown Austin. What's up, Vish? Going to uh, downtown Austin to uh, celebrate the new year. It's supposed to be pretty crazy uh, here in Austin. Uh, for those of you that might know, the Texas Longhorns are from this area. So this is a pretty big uh, party place, but. Uh, they might be on break, but I don't know how many of them are actually from Austin. But uh, the population is almost like 2 million, so it's supposed to be pretty busy. How long? <laughs> that's the first question. How long did it take you to get used to alternate control scheme? Uh, and that is from Jenny Jap. That took me about uh, three weeks, give or take, before I felt comfortable with it. I started at the beginning of November and. Uh, well, it's probably about mid-November I started. It's like the 10th or so, and uh, played with it for about two weeks until I stopped hitting like the wrong buttons and got the mantle, the uh, running mantle thing sorted out. Uh, and the biggest thing is like the wall bounce distance right now. Um, it seems to be like slightly shorter with alternate, so sometimes you end up uh, standing still when you want to run. So uh, that's probably the biggest thing in that it's something that you really can't get used to because sometimes you're on wall bounce and you just end up standing there and then you have to strafe so uh, it's not really much you can do about that one started a little early so I'm tweeting this stuff out right now you guys can continue asking questions all you want Oh, thank you. Thank you. My uh, girlfriend got this hat. She also got some other stuff. I got my beads ready. Uh, we're actually going with, uh, Skyless is going with us, and uh, two friends of hers that are also going with us. Uh, have you noticed an influx of new Christmas gamers and gears, or do you think Quick Match Beginners Lobby is going, uh, doing its job? Uh, I have noticed a slight influx in players uh the biggest difference that i've seen so far is like when i'm playing um ranked is that the <laughs> little matchmaking is just so horrendous it matches us with uh, some of the players that have barely played at all i actually tweeted this the other day i actually got like a series of games where the people on my team played less than 10 total king of the hill matches and their ranks were like 20s 15 uh, a few guys were level three four so yeah I have noticed the influx. Are there any chances of Skyless continuing his lesson series? Uh, I don't know. We shall see. Uh, would you have switched to alternate if you used a regular controller? Uh, Bacon, I actually had that question asked quite a bit now. Um, we, I, you know, here's the thing. With the reason I switched to alternate controller wasn't, our uh, alternate control scheme wasn't because uh, I was thinking about the Anza being better for it. Um, the reason I switched is because I wanted to stop rolling when I when I, I wanted to wall bounce. So if I look at it from that perspective, yes, I probably would have switched to it. Um, and that's the approach that I think a lot of people need to take when they look at, okay, am I going to switch to alternate or am I going to keep default? Uh, both have their pros and cons, and that's how I laid it out. You know, the reason I showed the ons in that video is because that's the controller that I use, and I've been using it for over a year now. So uh, I, I, I can use a regular regular controller just fine on Gears of War. I played with it with a regu regular controller, um, Gears 2, Gears 1, even Gears 3, so it's it doesn't really matter. Uh, do you guys think that you can make top 10 at hype? Uh, if we practice hype Z a lot, if we practice uh, well enough, I think, yes, we can. Um, it's just a matter of if we can get in enough crunch time uh, with Dotter. we got a new new teammate because Cali North can't make it out. Uh, so we shall see. 
Uh, is Gears of War going to be MLG? That's not a question I can answer. Uh, really, I don't know. Um, it seems like a lot of people uh, initially were from MLG, uh, from their staff and stuff, seemed very, very interested in it. I know they went out to the studio uh, before they released Title Update 2 with the uh, King of the Hill changes and stuff, um, showing the next hill indicator. I think Sundance and Killer KC went out there. I don't know if anyone else did. Uh, so that was promising. But uh, as of late, you know, there hasn't been too much discussion on Gears of War, so I honestly don't know. Uh, KC has been on Modern Warfare 3 the last, like, month. Um, there hasn't been any tweets from anyone about it. Uh, it's been pretty crazy. So I don't know if it will be up on there or not. Uh, okay, now the comments are starting to come in a little bit faster. Any New Year resolutions? Uh, yeah, I got a few. Um, so I started my blog back in, what, the end of 2009. And uh, my New Year's resolution then was to make a blog a day for 2010 uh, on reflection. And uh, I kind of got away from that this year because I wanted to focus a lot more on doing YouTube stuff. And... Uh, you know, some of my New Year's resolutions, just making a balance between videos and writing. Um, I also want to establish a better presence with some of the game developer studios that we've worked with in the past um, as a team entity, uh, I guess amazing, so to speak, and uh, try to work our way into whether it be QA or some type of uh, thing on the side with, with the team doing that. Thanks. I like I like it. Uh, are we going to be at Hype Fest? Yes. Do you use Control Freaks? Uh, no, I don't. I've done a review on them. You can check them out. Uh, they're on my channel. Uh, you just have to look at unboxing and reviews, at product reviews and unboxings. That playlist you can f find it there. But yes, I have used Control Freaks. They're they're all right. Uh, perfect game mechanics for Gears Three. What was that question? Oh, can I? I wish I could pop this chat box out. Sucks so bad. Let me see if I can scroll on it. Mm, nope, I can't. All right, let me try doing something different so I can see more of these. Hold on, guys. I'm seeing if I can see this a little bit better. I hate uh, YouTube's chat box. It's so horrendous. There we go. Now I can see it better. Perfect game mechanics. This is from MLG Crazer. Perfect game mechanics for gears. For perfect gears. Execution. Wait. Example. Stopping power. No, no mind. Newbies. Uh... Perfect game mechanics for gears of war. Uh, I'd take stopping power away. Um, if I took it away, I would keep the the rifle damage. Uh, it's really hard to say what would be perfect. Uh, so if there's no stopping t uh, power, I keep the rifle damage. If there is st stopping power, I would reduce the active rifle damage. I would also reduce the active uh, damage on the Nasher a little bit. And when I say I reduce it, I'm talking like minuscule percentages. I know like... Um, for example, the active Lancer does one and a half times damage. I would reduce it to like 1.4 to see how it plays out. 1.45. I'm talking like really minute changes just to see how it will work. Uh, because, you know, unlike a lot of the other players uh, that kind of push for more competitive settings, and I think a lot of people have this misconception where we only want a shotgun game. It's never been like that. And the people that play competitively know that, you know, the Lancers and Crossfire is really important. The difference being that instead of using teamwork and having good shots, you know, one person can Lancer down three people. That's kind of ridiculous. So, um, you know, I would tone tone it down just to see how it would play out a little bit. Um, and I change around weapon swaps a little bit better because some of the maps are still pretty shitty. Uh, Karkov, whoever asked that. Burnsville. Do you feel as if... Boom Shield has any practical uses and higher level play. We shall see on Clock Tower at Hype Fest Station. As of right now, not really. Um, I've seen a few different things that you... I have a few different ideas that you could use it in, but it's like 
the scenarios that you could use it in are just so like not it's not a high percentage chance that it would happen so no not really but we'll see at hype circuit uh we'll see i i cali north has a really hectic schedule right now with work and school uh kind of in the same situation as orange and i've never been an advocate of uh you know trying to get my guys on to play when they have more important things like school so uh, we're willing to work with this schedule. I told him to let me know if anything changes after uh, the holidays and stuff, and maybe he can work out a different work schedule. But as of right now, um, he has no intention of playing up until, you know, after hype. And that was Chemistry's Pro that asked that. I would like to ask, from watching your videos on competitive play, why aren't you using Hammer Burst in some situations? As of right now, uh, competitively, there are uh, restrictions on the Hammer Burst, Retro Lancer, and Sawed Off. So uh, we, in competitive play, it's Lancer only. Um, I, I, I'm one, I, I don't really want to say that I want more of the weapons in because the Hammer Burst got a buff that I felt was unnecessary. Uh, so as of right now, I'm kind of leaning more towards the Lancer. But I also, I also think that all the rifles are kind of too strong right now. Just wondering if you thought of doing tryouts and reviews of new games. Uh, yes, I have a lot of stuff planned for the channel in 2012. Uh, I won't be doing any tryouts uh, for Gears of War team as invite only. Uh, but um, reviews of new games, that stuff is planned for the channel. I, I do plan on bringing a lot more uh, content. Okay. Uh, rather than Lancer, what are your opinion? What are the worst maps for King of the Hill? Uh, the worst maps for King of the Hill. Uh, Overpass. Uh, hmm. Thrash Ball is good, but one of the hills at the top needs to be removed, and it would be probably perfect. But because it has two almost impenetrable hills, I think that one is kind of bad right now. Uh, hmm, what's another one? Checkout is okay. I don't like the spawn, the hill spawns on checkout and player spawns in relation to the hill spawns. It's kind of chaotic. I like that there's only four player spawns, uh, so it's a bit more organized in a sense that you could block spawns and make it a little bit more uh, controlled. But uh, some of the hills and player spawns are kind of ridiculous. For example, the starting hill is at the nades. There's a spawn uh, at electronics, which makes no sense. Uh, so unless you sit on that spawn, people are going to, the opposite team can spawn there and basically, you know, rock your world if you're not paying attention. Uh... Okay, I got a ton more questions and and I'm trying to pick up. Okay, do you think? Uh, let me see. GB game battles. Do you think you could do a challenge of going into ranked wingman alone and win? Uh, yes, I've done it before. How often do you mantle kick? Uh, very seldom. I'm probably like one in every 70 games or so is when I mantle kick. Uh, and I've attempt more, but usually I don't get them. Uh, you know, I'll get that like, hey, I haven't mantle kicked in a while. Let me try it. And it completely fails because it's so glitchy. Do you know if Epic has any plans to reduce the damage stopping power on the hammy? Uh, I mean, considering they buffed it, and the reason they buffed it is because of the statistics, which I think were misleading. It's not that the hammer burst is not used a lot. It's more difficult to use. Therefore, people are not going to use it. So somehow they wanted to make it more accessible by making it stronger so it would boost the numbers and all they did was turn it into a rocket launcher uh, just like all the other rifles um, and it was already strong so I don't think they have any plans to reduce it uh, when was the last time you fully raged at gears swearing yelling etc keep it bacon ask that uh, I don't really rage I'd say the last time I swore was probably in a competitive match uh, and you usually get a lot more cheap things that happen uh, when you're in a private match uh, versus dedicated. So like if you run up and point blank someone two times and they just sponge both shots, that kind of makes me a little mad, but I don't rage or anything. I've never like thrown my controller or headset or done anything like that before. 
have you altered your brightness setting on gears? Mine is really high. Uh, I just enjoy that way. Uh, that is Ishmael Jeffrey. Uh, yes, I have altered my brightness. It's turned almost all the way up. Invasion says epic hat. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. Uh, hype fright starting on a Friday really stinks. <laughs> uh, I was so confused on why people didn't use Hammerverse in some situation maps. So yeah, cheers. No problem, Proxy. Worst map is Gridlock. Oh yeah, Gridlock is pretty bad. I forgot all about that map. Uh, when did your team form? Oh, man. 2008. At the end of 2008 is when we started uh, Amazing. Who has YB Killa. Uh, so, yeah, it was end of 2008. It was Skyless, uh, my brother Orange, or uh, Carrington, and uh, me, Xenocide, Zero XL, Cali North, Phobos, and um, Wraith were the original and still the original members of Amazing. How long do you think Gears 3 multiplayer can expand before reaching limits? Uh, when you say expand, do you mean like <laughs> keep growing? Here's the, here's an interesting thing. Uh, when Call of Duty came out, Battlefield the population like was on the super decline um, and since the game Call of Duty both have been out for about uh, a month and a half two months I've actually seen comments where people are saying I stopped playing Call of Duty I went back to Gears I enjoyed a lot more Call of Duty is stale um, and I haven't really seen people saying that for Battlefield but I think that's interesting that a lot of people that are playing Call of Duty are starting to realize that, hey, you know, I've already played this six times already. They need to change something up. Uh, and then, you know, they're going to other games. Uh, and I think Battlefield is pretty damn good. How do you feel about the new trenches weapon swaps? I think they are brilliant. Um, they're a lot better than the default swaps. And I think the digger underneath actually has a lot more use than out in the middle. Uh, the nades aren't really a focal point now uh, but they're still pretty hard to grab especially if you know one team has top control um, and that 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 I don't know it, it, I, I think it honestly I think it plays better though I think it's a lot better with the new swaps okay oh man this one got a bunch of updates again. How do you feel about... No, no, I already read that. What about... What would be your 11 game types? Only 6 can be execution. Oh, man, I hate that question. Crazer, that's a great one. Uh, so I don't have a sheet of paper so I can keep track. So you guys don't have to keep track for me. Uh, execution, I would go Checkout, Dry Dock. No, 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 not Dry Dock. Uh, clock Tower. To... Um, What's after that? Old Town, Mercy, and Thrash Ball. That would be those would probably be my six execution maps. Uh, I have for TDM, I'd still uh, include TDM. I think Old Town TDM is really good. I hate the high ground versus low ground thing. I don't know why Epic does that. Um, and trenches TDM is not bad. And um, third map, or I only said two, but if I had to choose a third map for TDM, I guess the next best one would be Azura. Uh, just because it's so big, it plays out oh, alright. Um, what's that? Six and three and two, nine. Uh, so we'll go two TDM. Three King then would be uh, Trenches. I actually like Thrash Ball, and then the best one is Dry Dock. Those would be my, my three maps for that. Uh, if you did not play Gal, would you play Halo or COD? Uh, Halo is pretty difficult. Like, I tried to get into Halo on Reach. I think that was a bad one to try to get into Halo. Um, actually, you know what? I tried to play Halo 3 a little bit, but um, I, I can't remember what. Gears 2, I think, came out, and then we, we started playing that. But uh, if I had to choose between Halo or COD, I'd probably go Call of Duty. Um just because I've played Call of Duty competitively before. I played Call of Duty 2 for, man, a long time. I played that for like two years straight, won some tournaments in it, um, won some free-for-all tournaments, 
Uh, so I, I mean, I'm not a bad Call of Duty player. I just haven't. I, the game is just stale to me. It's the same old thing. So I don't know, omnidirectional or not. Uh, I play with it on. However, what I've been finding was I wanted to roll around corners uh, using that that angle. Um, it's like the upper left hand direct, directional corner. And every time you do that roll off of a corner, it warps you back. So uh, for all intent and purposes, you could use it off. Uh, I know a lot of players are switching to off, but uh, I play with it on right now. What team are you feeling are going in hot into hype other than your team? Uh, well, I honestly don't feel like our team is going in hot into hype because we're, we just started scrimming literally three days ago. Uh, with a new squad, but in terms of what I feel, what I've seen so far, uh, NBN, maybe, uh, Infinity is probably the hottest team right now, so I'm looking for big things from them. Um, the Fathering, Ambition, I don't know, there's a lot of teams. VVV is, is looking really solid. Uh, Lancer Headshot Modifier, your thoughts? If the Hammer Burst doesn't have it, and the Lancer is pretty strong with actives. I don't think it needs it. And that was from Eraser. 96. Uh, by the way, where do you live? I live in Austin, Texas. NZ, are you from New Zealand? Wow. That's pretty intense. Uh, I know the way the mechanics are already established and content is final, but do you see in the future more weapons added to the game? Um... Yeah, sure. I mean, they could possibly add new weapons. Uh, I kind of wonder how the balance of them would be and what ideas they would have for new weapons. But uh, sure, I could see that happening, as well as new game types. Any tips for CTL players, or are you still figuring out the game type yourself? Yeah, I've honestly played less than 10 Capture the Leader games, so uh, I don't have any tips right now for that. Yes, uh, little Eddie, my team is going to hype. Uh, did your team compete in the Open GEL tournament? No, we did not. We did not compete in that at all. Uh, unfortunately, again, our schedule was hectic because of Cali North for the most part. So, no, we did not play in anything with Game Nation. I'm going back through uh, comments. Yes, the chat on... Uh, YouTube needs a lot of work. It's really bad. Okay. I know you mentioned a while back that weapons are a little strange on Azura. What changes would you suggest? Uh, the biggest thing that I thought was strange on Azura was that you have two snipers and for one round they have the mulcher up there. Like that it's kind of conflicting um but overall i think that the power weapons are are decent um i don't know what swap change i would make I, it's pretty much they have everything on the map possible on azura uh so i honestly i don't know what what you could put in place of the multer up there that's the only one that i feel is really weird what changes do you think epic could make on overpass to make it a good map uh, overpass is a lost cause, Bacon. It's a lost cause. That map <laughs> needs to be out of multiplayer completely. Uh, it's good for Horde. Let me, let, me, let me put an asterisk by that. It's good for Horde. Um, but prefer Halo due to the inconsistently in killing in Gears. Yeah, Chaos. Uh, come back to Bloomington. <laughs> uh, sorry, man. I can't. How do you feel chemistries is pro? How do you feel your team will do regarding placing for this year based on other teams you've scrimmed so far and such? Uh, you know, our team has been kind of up and down. Uh, and the biggest thing is consistency for us. Uh, we started out really hot. But uh, I feel like in execution, we're behind because we played TDM and King of the Hill and none of the other teams played that. So all of those teams just played execution. But I feel like we played execution for so long you kind of get a, into a rhythm on how to make uh, strats and stuff better for that. So uh, I think that it will be um, 
it'll be interesting to see how we kind of progress with execution and 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 uh as a whole but tdm and king i don't really see any issues for us there uh, it's just a matter of getting our slaying up my girlfriend just walked in she's looking at me uh, uh could you ever get back into unreal tournament championship glitch 373 that's an excellent question there's a game coming out called nexus i did a video on it a while ago um, I actually removed it um, here recently, but that the game is like Unreal Tournament, Quake-style um, game, and I'm actually really interested in playing it. I kind of want to see how it feels um, from the final version. We went out during the early phase of it. It was like a year ago around this time that we went out and played Nexus, so they've had a year to work on it, and honestly, I love quick twitch shooters, and... If Unreal came back into the picture, I'd definitely play it because I feel like those are where you get to, f you know, find out who the real men are in gaming as far as shooters go. I think Hammerburst should have a headshot bonus. Ah, <laughs> uh, wow. When you reach level 95, you should have to rank. What are your thoughts on those? Okay. Uh, first off, I don't think the Hammerburst needs any type of modifier on it uh, whatsoever. It's already super, super strong. Um... And as far as, you know, once you get to level 95, being forced into ranked, I actually like that idea, um, as weird as it may seem, but I know a lot of people won't like it, so. Do you think we should be a little worried since MLG hasn't said anything about gears and hasn't released any weapon swaps? Uh, no. No. I don't think so. Where's the video? Skulls RS. Uh, what video are you referring to? You know, perhaps? I can't even remember if I answer some of these questions because this chat is so bad. Vicious, I, uh, I don't think we should be worried about MLG because uh, at this point, if we can keep the hype community together, together, I think if we just build on that, we can make our own thing and not have to rely on, you know, MLG saying, hey, the game's on the circuit. Hey, it's not on the circuit. Either way, uh, you know, we'll be fine. Uh, Crazy, I'm new to competitive gears. I want to find new guys to play with or team with, but everyone is already experienced. Any tips? Wow, man, I get that question so much, Crazer. Uh The biggest issue with finding new players is that um, the, typically the players that you find are just not the type of people or sometimes their goals are a little bit different or sometimes you can't handle their personality they rage they blame people um, the best place to find players right now is probably the gal nation forums um, just posting there and trying to get a team together followed by the epic forums and then at the back burner way way in the back i list game battles uh, just because the game battles community is literally shitty. Like, it is one of the worst communities I've ever, ever witnessed in my entire life. It's really bad. Uh, what connection you have? Question mark. I use AT&T Uverse. Yo, Root is in the house. What's up? Why do people hate on the Retro Lancer so much? I have use uh, a different machine gun depending on map. I'm playing you do Hammer Burst for Blood Drive for longer distances. Uh, Ishmael, I'm not sure why people hate on the retro so much. Usually change um, begets some type of um, disposition towards, you know, them hating it. So the retro Lancer is different, so people are automatically going to hate it. The sawed off is different, so people are automatically going to hate it. Um, the issue, I think, with the retro Lancer is that it defeats the purpose of having a shotgun. Uh, you know, and it's saying, hey, you know, we have this weapon in the game, a shotgun, but... Because we feel like the shotgun use is so much more difficult, we want to give you a weapon that can kind of substitute in, that you can kind of rifle and s still use the rifle. So uh, it has its purposes, but I think for all, for the majority of the t um, for the majority of the players in the community, they just don't like it because it's different. That's my only take on it. I mean, I've used it. I I don't know. It's it's hit or miss. Uh, I've never stayed online for more than an hour because I get so frustrated with the sponging any tips um you know with the shotgun i don't really have any tips as far as sponging goes <laughs> it's really nothing you can do about it if it happens it happens i get upset about it as well um 
I, you know, I just keep playing. Sometimes I end up switching to my Lancer or Hammer Burst, whatever I'm using if I'm getting too many sponges. Do you see Epic making any changes to the hitboxes on different character skins, females versus males? I doubt it. I am not Derek Rose's little brother. I have a question. I am in charge of Gears team for my clan, but it's getting harder and harder to get my teammates to play ranked. I don't want to replace them, but I am at a loss on what to do. Uh, most teams don't play ranked. They usually play like uh, game battles or somewhere that actually keeps track of wins and losses. Uh, so it's uh, you could. I, don't, I really don't have any suggestions for you. Like uh, the best way to show them that they need to continue to play is playing against people that are better than you. Um, and the only way you're going to do that is probably on game battles because it's just you know that competitive nature there is a lot um, higher. Do you have a job? Yes. That crazy asset. Um, worked at Il not Il I got what's name Edge of Reality Game Studio. And for the new year, I'm trying to get a new job at one of the studios uh, here in Austin. Austin is like a hotbed for a lot of game studios. It's, a lot of people say that it's like the West Coast area that didn't quite make it there. So San Fran or uh, just in that general area. Uh, it's really techy here, so it's a lot of opportunities for new jobs and stuff like that, especially in the gaming industry. Um, how do you feel about Sandbar? Um, Pink Power Ranger, another New Zealand. Uh, I actually like Sandbar um, from a visual standpoint, uh, but there's some design flaws, I think, with the upper portion of the map. Um, and from my understanding, it was actually different and uh, they had, I think, was multiple entrances into that top area, but uh, with the final version, they ended up tweaking it and making it the way it is. So uh, the map is good. Uh, it's just a little big. The spacing on it is kind of off. Um, it's not ideal, I think, for me um, and for a lot of people in the competitive community. Uh, I used to play PS3 on Cobb, but since I've been seeing your videos on Gears, I got Xbox 360 and Gears. Thanks you much better. Great vids. Uh, thanks, Tyler. I'm glad you uh, made the switch. Funny story I got for you is that my uncle was a big time, big time, big time PS uh, PlayStation fan, Sony fan. So he had been using um, and playing PlayStation since the very first one. That's all he played. And uh, after PlayStation and Sony had that whole identity hacking of their uh, profile users, whatever, back in spring, he uh, was asking me about the Xbox. And he actually went out and bought uh, the Gears of War Edition Xbox with the controller and all that stuff. Um, so I was pretty proud of him. So good to see that you got one as well. Uh, can I have your PSN? You know, I, I told you guys I just got one, but my girlfriend is in charge of the PlayStation. So... I don't think she wants any friends. I think she just wants to play with me, and that's it. <laughs> uh, I think matchmaking is at other levels with another to ranked. That wasn't really a question. Uh, what time are we playing on Sunday? It's my cat. I don't know if you guys can see my cat. Um, daughter, we are playing 4 p.m. Um, so was that 2 p.m. your time? Or 5 p.m.? 5 p.m. 4 or 5 around there uh where do you buy that hat I, my girlfriend got it for me uh so i don't know um why don't you live stream on twitch i've considered it i don't know if i will or not um i just don't feel like doing it i guess i'm trying to stream on youtube because youtube started streaming so i want to be one of the first ones to start doing that here and versus twitch where i feel like there's a lot of people already streaming on twitch and it's not very um exclusive and you don't really feel all that special on Twitch because everyone streams on Twitch. Uh, if you had to add another rifle into Gears, what would you, well, what would it be like? It would be like the uh, D, no, the BR. Yeah, it'd be like the BR. Like the original hammer burst is what I would add into Gears. I'd add the, add the original burst fire hammer burst. Um, if Gears never existed, what would you be playing? Probably Call of Duty um, or I'd go on PC and play, uh, like Quake or something nonstop. Level cap for the double barrel shotgun. No, disagree. 
don't think there should be a level level cap. Um, I don't like it, just like the next person, but I don't think there should be a level cap. Yes, follow me on Twitter. Arctic, follow me on Twitter. A-R-C-T-Y-C. -C. Yep. Thanks. My girlfriend got the hat. Uh, ninja dog, ghost dog. Get files to subsidize the packet loss. Yeah. Can't really do anything about it. They don't have files in Austin. I wish they did. Do you think it was a smart move by Epic to support casual gamers or uh, would I prefer them to keep the skill gap as high as possible? Uh, I actually think that it is important to support the casual gamers because, um, you know, they at some point in time, regardless of what you think you what type of gamer you are now, at some point you were a casual gamer and. Uh, you know, that progression to get to competitive or hardcore, whatever you want to classify yourself as, is you had, you know, you had to start somewhere. So for um, a game studio like Epic or Infinity Ward or EA, DICE, whoever, whoever does, um, you know, develops their games, I think it's important to try to get as many people involved in your game as possible. It helps the community grow. It helps bring new people, new content, um, like, you know, I think that if we had more people playing Gears of War, there would be more people posting on YouTube. I mean, there's not that many people posting videos with very good content of a high quality on on, on Gears of War. So uh, I think that because you know they're lowering the skill gap, if you want to call it that, but they're making just just making it more accessible. Um, it's just adding more people to the community. I think that overall is a good thing. I mean, if there was no one playing, there'd be like you know two or three thousand hardcore players, maybe maybe more than that, but. You know, it's obviously, uh, I think it's a good thing because you get more variety in people. What headset is that? It's a white one. That's all you need to know. Uh, do you know if it's possible for Epic to change maps from their current state in ways like beta to full games, such as Overpass having more routes to the top and other things? Probably it, it's probably possible, but I don't think they will do that. Um, just because they're more focused on building new maps versus fixing old maps, um, so I don't think that they will make any changes to the existing maps. Hey Arctic, what's up, Ninja? What headset? Oh, I already I already answered that. <laughs> um. Do you think that the digger and the scorcher should be buffed? Maybe the digger, not the scorcher. Uh, the scorcher was actually significantly buffed. Uh, I don't know if a lot of people realize that. Um. I'm trying to find where this place is. Man, this comment. I am writing a ticket or someone, uh, something to YouTube on this comment box. It is so horrendous. It is so, so bad. Ugh. Who is the best overall pro player in Gears of War? Uh, probably, if you want to go with consistency, a lot of people say that Atmo is probably the best player. Um, I think it's probably Killa um, from the Insanes. Atmo. Uh, prison is pretty good in terms of uh, you know overall abilities. Uh, Cali North, I always keep him really high up there. Um, he's always is just he's an outstanding player. But you you guys need to see him on multiple games, not just Years of War. So you know seeing him play on multiple games versus a lot of other players that I know are only good at Gears or only good at you know one or two games. Cali North can play everything and he's just like you'd be like oh my god so yeah instead of damage boost do you think that rifle should have another active reload advantage less recoil less bullet spread um maybe less bullet spread on like the lancer 
uh, less recoil on maybe the retro hammer burrs, nothing. Will any downloadable maps such as Blood Drive, Clock Tower, and the upcoming maps be usable on LAN? I've heard mixed things on that. I've heard that it works uh, some cases and doesn't work in, in other cases. Uh, for uh, on LAN maps that are downloaded won't work. I think one box needs to have it downloaded or updated on their uh, system in order for it to work across all. Then that box ends up being the host box for the match. <clears throat> what is it about gears that grips you the most? Uh, probably the difficulty of it. I think that for console shooter as it stands is probably one of the of the hardest to get into um, and be good at. Uh, you know, Call of Duty you can kind of hop on, you play it for a couple weeks, you can get moderately good. You play you play Gears for a couple weeks and a lot of people, and, and this is just from you guys, a lot of you guys that just got into it are still like, man, how do you guys do this? How do you do this? How do you do this? And I feel like Call of Duty doesn't really have that. Um, Halo, again, for me, playing at the competitive level was really difficult. If I ran into you know, matchmaking, it wasn't that hard um, to play against some of the other players. But being a top player in Halo is pretty difficult. Um, and what is it after that? Battlefield? Battlefield is like Call of Duty. It's not that difficult. Um, I love Battlefield, though, because it's so different. And the vehicles add this new dynamic to it. Um, and then what other shooters are there? I mean... You have like Unreal and stuff that was like in 2007. You have some other games that uh, aren't really good. But Gears is probably, you know, the skill gap is what uh, makes it so much better to me than a lot of other games. If Zen was South Park, which character would everyone be? Shit. Phobos would be Kenny. Uh, Skyless would be Cartman. Uh, man, who would Cal who would Callie be? I don't know. I don't know. I guess me and Callie would be the last two guys. Oh no, no, no! I'd be Chef. You'd be Token. <laughs> oh, or I could be Token. Yeah, I guess I would be. T well, but there's my brother though. Skyla says I should be token, but I there's my brother though. Who would he be? He could be chef. Um, I don't know who Callie North would be. Do you see Zen doing well with the new addition? Uh, with Daughter, yeah, I think we could be pretty good. We just have to get consistent with our practice schedule. Um, you know, one of the things that I think a lot of people forget, and we're always knocked on as being like this team that just is. And a lot of you guys don't know this and from the YouTube community, but from the MLG competitive community, our team is always considered to be like the worst pro team. Um, despite some of our placings, um, and despite our consistency, we've never been able to like stay in the top four. You know, we placed first and third and like eighth or whatever it was. And then we, I mean, it's just been, we've been up and down, but uh, we've always been a pro team. And for some reason, we are consistently knocked on as being a team that doesn't do very well or that isn't very good um, and I think in 2009 when we had that whole summer to practice uh, with Skyless, me, Callie and my brother um, we really opened up our own eyes to what we could do and we opened up a lot of other teams eyes to hey you know you know we said these guys weren't good they practiced non-stop everyone knew that we were practicing non-stop like five hours a day every single day just going at it um, some of the guys that even when we practice for five hours um, they would play more um, than that so they might have an eight, eight hour day or a 12 hour day think about that a 12 hour day of just playing Gears of War 2 the worst and shittiest game <laughs> excuse me I mean just that I've probably ever played um, at a competitive level it was just so bad um, it was excru excruciating to play, play that on a consistent level so I think, yes, we can do well if we stay consistent. Um, but based on how we've been playing now, being up and down and consistent with practice schedules, um, not knowing what we're really practicing for. There's no MLG announcement. There's hype festation, which is, you know, it's getting better. But will, the, will that last? Will people be consistent in that? There's a lot of questions um, to, you have to kind of ask yourself when you approach from a competitive level. 
Uh, do you th and and few shadow asked that. Do you think they should bring back the true skill rank not as a substitute but a, as an extra? I think they need to just sh completely destroy the true rank system and just build something from the ground up that is either similar to StarCraft or Halo 2's old system, Halo 2, Halo 3. Um, but the matchmaking right now as it stands for every single game right now on the console side except for Halo is really shitty. So they need to like figure that out. Do you follow the videos of any other Gears commentators? Uh, I watch uh, Go Glove. I watch um, Video Fletcher a little bit. Um, I watch Wallace, but he's not really doing Gears right now. He's doing a lot of Skyrim stuff. Um, sometimes, I mean, I don't really follow a whole lot of commentators. Uh, and sometimes when you guys send me your videos, I'll, I'll check them out. But uh, I said the only person I consistently watch is probably Gold Glove. Um, and after that, it's like there's no one else that really does a lot of gears. Uh, I'm trying to catch up on these questions. Have you got your wings yet? And few shadow, yes. Where have you been? If Epic gave you the decision, this is from OMG, well, OMG Gordy, I guess. If Epic gave you the decision to add one thing to Gears of War, what would it be? And Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, uh, Gordy. And to answer your question, if Epic gave me one decision to add, I wouldn't actually, I probably wouldn't add anything. I'd actually remove some things. But if I were to add one thing, I would say theater mode would probably be um, the one thing I would add. What do you think is the best map in all of Gears of War games? Uh, hmm. My personal favorite map is War Machine, but I don't know if it's the best map overall, design-wise. Design-wise, the best map is probably Sanctuary from Gears 2 or Old Town in Gears 3 from a design standpoint. Could you beat GG 1v1? Gold Glove? Uh, I don't know. Gold Glove could probably beat me in a 1v1. <laughs> oh, man. Oh man, my girlfriend just showed me her New Year's outfit. I don't know if you guys need to see that right now. Uh, yeah, you're not you're not gonna see it. Mm -mm. Only I get to see that. Uh, have you got your wings? Yeah, I already answered that. Uh, in Gears of War trilogy, where does Gears of War three rank in terms of replay competitive value? For me, it ranks really high. Um, I think for a lot of other people, they're still in the nostalgia state and they'd rather have Gears of War one. But I think uh, replay value-wise, you got to think we have spectator mode now. Um, the developers are really in tune and listening to and watching competitive Gears of War um, with 3. So I think that in terms of the trilogy, I think Gears of War 3 from a competitive standpoint um, is a lot higher than the previous games. Do you think Call of Duty is easy? Tyler, yes. Tyler10985. Yes, I think Call of Duty is pretty easy. Are you and your team ready for hype festation? How do you think you will place? I think if we continue to practice, we will place uh, rather well. Um, are we ready? No, we're not ready yet. Do you play quick or ranked TDM? I play ranked. I only play ranked. I don't, I don't play quick match at all. Uh, how do you think your team will do at hype festation? I already answered that. Do you think Gears is more skillful than COD? Yes. Tyler, uh, does Phobos always day a lot? Is that why he would be Kenny? Die a lot? Uh, no, <laughs> yeah, I see. Um, I just said he would be Kenny because he's Phobos and he's just like that. He's just Kenny. Are you sticking with Hammer Burst or are you going back to the Lancer? Uh, I think I've answered this quite a bit, but um, yes, I am going back to the Lancer. Uh, right now, I'm going for the uh, what do you call it? The gold miner, gold miner. So 
That's why I'm using the hammer burst. I'm like 150 kills away from getting 2,000 kills with the hammer burst. And I don't boost it all, so um, that's why it's taking long. What do you think is better, MW3 or Battlefield 3? Uh, probably Battlefield. Have you ever trolled anyone from Eraser? No, not troll. Well, actually, yes. Yes, I have. I have trolled someone before. Uh, do you have any thoughts on the new maps in the next DLC, specifically Slab? I'm actually pretty excited for Slab. Um, I really wish they would release some more screens um, or maybe give me some insider info on it, something. That would be nice. But uh, based on the description for Slab, it seems like it's going to be an interesting map. Thanks, uh, Evan. No problem. Just wanted to do this for you guys before... Uh, before I head out for the new year so you guys can ask away on the questions that you guys have been pondering. Uh, why not dynamic spawns? Dynamic spawns. Uh, for what? Like TDM? I think uh, having dynamic spawns would be better for the game maybe. Uh, <laughs> it's just something that needs to be tested before I say hey yeah. Um, you know I've, I've kind of alluded to some of those developers. Uh, Pete Quinn um, some of the other guys, Pat Jones. Yeah, I don't think you guys have met Patty or seen him. I don't even know if he's on Twitter, but uh, you know we've talked about it with them before, and I think it's worth testing. But I don't know if it's going to solve any some uh, any of the issues that I feel like are kind of plaguing Team Deathmatch or some of the other game types for that matter. I'm trying to see if there's any more. Are we out of questions, or is uh, YouTube just not updating? It's probably not updating. Yep, nah, just not updated. Ah, uh, so slow. That's pretty bad. Have a good night to you, Tyler, and Happy New Year. Um, I probably won't, you guys probably won't see any, uh, retro Lancer gameplay. Might be a few games I play with the retro, but, uh, I've already said I'm probably going to boost a lot for the retro. That'll be the only weapon I'm going to be boosting on. I won't play with the sawed off. I probably won't get the golden hunter because I won't play with the sawed off. Um, so yeah, you play, probably see a couple gameplays of the retro, but, uh, yeah, that, that's getting boosted. Do you like the backstories extended universe of Gears? Yes, I think it's very interesting. Um, I like learning about some of the new characters um, that I didn't previously know about. I've uh, read into some of the um, older characters like Hoffman and, and uh, the Pendulum Wars and, and things of that nature. So yeah, I do like the, uh, the story and universe of Gears. I heard you were replacing Callie because he can't find the time. Um... He is playing with, uh, we're now playing with Dotter. Um, and Callie really isn't being replaced, so to speak. I mean, we have to fill him in. He can't go to Hype Festation, so um, we have to find another player that can go because we have an obligation to go. Do you like stealth games? Uh, Razor, you need to kind of elaborate on that. Do you mean like uh, Metal Gear Solid stealth games? Uh, yes, I love Metal Gear. Um, but yes, I, I guess that's your question. Top five arcade games. I really don't have a top five. I like Castle Crashers, which is kind of old. Uh, I would put Gotham City Imposters on my top five, but that beta was not what I was expecting it to be. Um, has a lot of potential, though. I think Nexus will be a, an arcade game. Uh, and from the early stages of the game I got to play, it'll probably be one of my favorite. Uh, but really, the only game I've ever played extensively on the arcade was uh, uh, Castle Crasher. So I don't really have a top five. How long can you see yourself gaming competitively in Gears of War? Now, I don't know. Can't answer that question. Have a safe, happy new year, buddy. Same to you, Crooks. Have a happy new year. See, I got my hat on for you guys.
Oh, something just happened to the chat. Uh, hold on. I have to scroll back through. Not happy with YouTube right now. So what I have seen happen just now is that I can't scroll on the comments anymore. Hmm. Let me see if I can try to uh can't do it so we got about 10 minutes left I'm just gonna try to read from what I can see on this chat sorry guys blame YouTube um, what would happen if you had to play gears with the connect I would die a lot I think everyone would die a lot are you an achievement hunter uh, not really um, for the longest time until I actually worked at eBash, which was a land center. Um, this is like from 2008 to 2010. Um, I didn't really play games for achievements. I think my gamer score before I worked there was like 4,000. And then after I worked there, I kind of started playing a lot more games. Uh, so I wouldn't say I'm an achievement hunter, but uh, some games I do like completing to the best of my ability. Uh, but I don't try to be like a completionist to get a thousand points on every game. Do you think Epic will make a new Gears game and retool some of the multiplayer? I actually believe that uh, the studio that is developing uh, or that developed Bulletstorm is working on the new Gears. That's the rumor. So I don't know if Epic is done with Gears, but I believe they're handing it off like uh, um, Infinity War. Well. <laughs> Infinity War didn't really hand off Call of Duty, but uh, yeah, it's kind of like 343 and Halo, I guess this would be the, the best one. Uh, what would be your worst Gears nightmare in terms of something that being added or removed from the game. Who asked that? Slanted Yeti. Uh, let me see. The maybe the boom shot. No, 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 no not the boom shot. Let me see. What would be maybe the Lancer getting a a, a buff or some sort would probably be the worst thing to the game. Uh, game for me. Nightmare. If Gears had a replay mode, what would be different? Um, from COD and Halo. Oh, man. I don't know. I'm not sure what would be any different, to be honest. Uh, I would honestly want a carbon copy theater mode from Halo. I don't really care if it's not original or not. You know, I just, there's a lot of gameplays that you can't save or that you want to use and you can't anymore because it's gone forever. And those earrings. Mm -hmm. Any suggestions for a gaming headset outside of Astros? Razer Chimera or the Razer Carcarius. Uh, who asked that? Uh, Fin Fan. Does Connect have place in online games like Gears? Uh, I, I guess when we see that Ghost Recon, um, that game that comes out, we'll know. But uh, as of right now, I don't really feel like... I feel like all the motion stuff is really gimmicky. 
Uh, so I don't particularly care for it. Uh, so do you have an opinion on the easiest and hardest characters to headshot in Cog Locust? Uh, Cog are pretty much the same. Uh, I don't really have a character that I feel like is easier to headshot. Um, the Locust, I think the harder one to headshot is probably Cantus. Because uh, sometimes you end up shooting like the top of his tip of his head and it's not a headshot. Uh, so I kind of have some issues with headshot in Cantus. If Gal 3 Sniper played like Gal 1, what... It, you sniper more. Uh, you mean if I could get active downs? <laughs> uh, probably. I don't know. It's, it seemed like it would be kind of overpowering at that point. Do you think they should remove the ability to boost in private? No, I don't. Uh, what do you use to record your games? I use an Aver TV HD DVR. I talked about it in like episode running rank episode six maybe um, on what my equipment is. It's a live cam com commentary. Would you play Gearville on Facebook? <laughs> Probably. Do you not think it would have been better if Nasher and Lancer were starting weapons while rest were pickup? Um. I, you know, I don't play a lot of alpha um, because there's not enough swaps on the map for trying to introduce that concept. So maybe uh, I think the sawed off probably should have been a pickup if 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 there's one it was was one at all. Uh, is Epic taking out the man up rule? If you guys have not heard yet, then let me be the first to tell you that the man up rule uh, is still going to apply in ranked, but in private matches there is going to be an on off switch. On off switch. You guys remember running ranked up the stopping power running ranked? I talked about having an on off switch in private. So for the people that do not think that's feasible or do not believe that it can happen, the man up rule will be something that has an on off switch. So, there you guys go. Since the Lancer and Retro Lancer have the same chainsaw charge, do you think the Hammer Burst should have one? <laughs> what What would you do with the Hammer Burst if it had a charge? I don't know. Um, if it had a B move, uh, you throw ammo clips at them or something? I don't know. I don't know what the uh, Hammer Burst would be able to do. Maybe it would burst fire if you uh, hit the B. It just... You know, sh shoot like it should shoot. Uh, do you think Epic removing the one shot down from an active long shot a good I or bad idea? Uh, uh, probably a bad idea because it's supposed to be really powerful, and uh, I feel like it's kind of like a viable weapon now. Uh, because they sp sped up the time to shoot it, so I think it works. YouTube, your chat is so terrible. Five minutes, my friends. Five minutes. Any last questions? And if you're typing it already, I can't see it because this chat box is so damn slow uh... what do you like better king of the hill or tdm i like king of the hill better uh... i wish there was more objective game types like king of the hill i don't like just slaying people because that makes the games typically slower so i'm still uh... in support of a bomb game type of some sort I think that would be fantastic for Gears of War. Nerd much? Of course. Do you think spawn protection should be fixed? I think if you shoot, you should no longer have spawn protection. Uh, do you think Alpha Playlist has been a success? Based on the numbers, I'd say that it has been um, dismal. I don't think I think it's success in that they put it in there for the hardcore players to use but doesn't seem like those hardcore players are playing it that much 
Do you watch Call of Duty videos? Uh, no, not really. Have you ever just been considered a PC gamer? Um, uh, no, not really. I, c I like all games, so, um, I don't know. Not I'm not really exclusive. I play PC when I can. I play Xbox, play PlayStation. I even play the Wii a little bit because my girlfriend has a Wii. But uh, I don't really see myself being exclusive to anything. Do you think Nick Merckx is a bitch? Uh, Entice Mints. I actually love Nick Merckx. He is one of my uh, good buddies. So the fact that you even asked me that is kind of insulting. Would you throw an ensign grenade at whoever designed the chat box for YouTube? I would do more than that. They get a salt off to the face. Last question. Do you think mods in rank ruin your rank experience and happy new years? Enjoy your videos and I hate mods. Eddie, um, I don't think mods modded, I'm assuming you're talking about modded hammer bursts and pistols. Uh, it's really hard to tell because you can actually shoot them so fast without it. Uh, so I don't really think they ruin it necessarily, um, but I, I just think that some of those weapons that are semi-automatic needed to be um, have a cap on it, and they said it was a cap, but obviously there's no cap. Thank you guys. Yes, I'm very lucky to have my girlfriend. Uh, would you like a new Gears game to have a creator own called Locust? That is a very, very good question, and I think that I would like that very much. Uh, Bartman, it's going well. About to enjoy my new year downtown. Last few questions, guys. What great map could make a comeback for, uh, for new Gears players? Uh, War Machine. I would love to see War Machine remake in some way, shape, or form. Sanctuary. I'd like to see that. Old Bones. I'd like to see that. Should Epic release a skin maker for Gears 3? No, I don't think they should release. It. I think they should focus on some other stuff. Uh. Can my GD? I'm assuming you're meaning GF. Christy, can you say bye to them as well? Bye. Oh, I have it on pause. You have to wave to them. Bye. <laughs> uh, Gears 2 game of the year. No, well, no way. Is Gears community doing as well as thought it would? And is it going to be okay? That's a good question, and I'll make that my last question. Uh, Mr. Mr. Bartman, is the Gears community doing as well as you thought it would, and is Zen going to be at Hype 2? The second question, uh, are we going to be at Hype 2? Yes. Easy. Uh, is the Gears community doing as well as you thought it would? Um, no, I do not think that the Gears community is doing as well as I thought it would. I thought there would be a lot more people that would be consistent with their uh, routines, their practice schedules, their uh, their involvement in the community, um, but there has been like a turnaround. Uh, some of those guys that I want to step up and start doing things more with the community and being involved is happening, and I think that uh, there is some light at the end of the tunnel. Now, whether or not it will stay uh, is another thing. You know, it's all about consistency. Is you know whether you write. YouTube, you want to be competitive, you want to do content, whatever it is, you have to be consistent. And if you're not consistent, then uh, it's all for naught. So I think that uh, we're making progress, but as of right now, I think it's really disappointing um, from just from all the things that I do. And I know what's capable um, and what those players are capable of doing. It's kind of disappointing. So that is my last question for Mr. Bartman. Um, I will look at some of the comments on this. Uh, tomorrow on the new year for you guys and I'll answer what I can in the comment section uh, maybe I'll stream this on JTV or Twitch TV next time because uh, this chat is just horrendous and it's bothering me 
So uh, hope you guys have a very happy and safe new year. I will be in downtown Austin, Texas. May even throw up some pictures uh, on the site for you guys. But I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Bye. Adios. Be safe. Don't drink and drive. Have fun. Party. Party like it's 1999. Use taxis. Alright, later guys. <laughs>